subscribe to our channel by clicking the subscribe button click the bell button and enjoy the latest uploads from our channel Lexus s9 versus the lg g7 thin q speed test requested by many let's go ahead and boot these up at the same time in three two one and see which one does get there first now keep in mind this is a super fair comparison here because both are the android platform and both have the same exact internal specifications we're talking about a qualcomm snapdragon 845 on both devices and adreno 630 gpu and both are rocking out with four gigabytes of ram and the lg g7 thin q says not today samsung i take the win on the boot up so the lg g7 with the faster boot up time okay guys so they both have fingerprint scanners on the rear in about the same place the galaxy s9s is a little bit closer to the camera so i find it a little bit less separated a little bit harder to press but we're going to do this fingerprint test in three two one and you can see the lg is quicker and i tried this before the video it's pretty much quicker every time than the galaxy s9 here when it comes to getting into the phone but it's it's not too much but it definitely is noticeable now one thing i did notice though it's some little general ui differences here the lg actually shows the clock first when you hit the power button watch this three two one you can see it's much faster to respond to the power button it's just something small that i noticed between these two also the lg g7 thin q here is slower than the galaxy s9 where you want to go ahead and turn off your phone when you hold the power button down there's a delay on the g7 you see how the galaxy was way ahead there and one more time three two one so if your phone's giving you trouble and restarting you're going to be annoyed by the slowness of the g7 thin q to respond to just restarting your phone also when you want to put widgets on the home screen if you go ahead and hit anywhere on the home screen you could see very slow there on the g7 to get that to pop up three two one and very slow there for the g7 so the g7 while faster on that lock screen to show the time these little animations on turning the phone off and you know just hitting this you know home screen to turn your widgets on and go into home screen settings that needs to be fixed in an update uh, if you're if you're watching this lg you need to fix that because it's really slow looking here on the lg g7 okay so for the software version android 8.0.0 oreo for the galaxy s9 which has been receiving security patches as well but this phone has been out longer and at the time android 8.1.0 was basically just coming on the scene, but LG has 8.0 as, as well here. But when they launched this phone, 8.1 was already available. So this is a little more disappointing that the G7 being the newer phone didn't at least ship with 8.1. We could wait on it for the S9, but at the time, you know, this is a passable software, but LG, come on, you gotta put the latest version when it comes out. And I'm not trying to sound like I'm being one side here. They both have the same software version, but LG had a chance to put 8.1 because it was already out for quite a time when this phone came out. But both these rock in the same version, so it's a pretty fair comparison in software. Okay guys, so we've arrived at the application portion of the speed test. You can see everything is closed out now on both devices and scrolling through both of these no issues they're both about the same but you know you can't have an app drawer or no app drawer the only difference is you have a notch on this phone let's begin with clock three two one and you could see about the same i mean i think slightly to lg with the animation very very slight you have to slow it down to see that but let's go into calculator and you could see to me it looked like lg once again slightly let's go into settings and you could see very similar let's go into play store and play store is on the right for the lg g7 thin q what about instagram you could see instagram loads first for the lg g7 you see scrolling through it should be very equal performance i mean they're both rocking the same cpu here on both devices let's go into twitter three two one and let's see which one could open twitter first that's the lg g7 thin q let's go into snapchat and you can see g7 ahead there let's go into whatsapp you can see g7 just a little bit let's go into youtube and you can see that one's about even on both so you can see that you know samsung has made great improvements to touch with but maybe the g7 speed is a little bit better so far let's go into prime video and you could see g7 ahead there once again let's go into ebay and you can see ebay is first actually yeah that was the g7 again let's open up this laptop g7 again so maybe the animation is just a little bit slicker for the g7 let's go into amazon and you can see g7 again let's go over here to this little helmet or whatever let's go there 
and let's just click this one. You could see about the same. So performance pretty equal, but I just think LG's animation is a little bit quicker than TouchWiz. Let's go into Jetpack Joyride, and you could see this is ahead for same GPU though, but that was definitely the LG G7. Let's go into Dead Trigger 2, both on high graphics settings, 3, 2, 1, and see which one can open this up first. And it looks like the LG is ahead. Let's hit play. But let's see which one gets in there first when we actually start playing. And you could see Samsung's ahead there. So Samsung comes back in the Dead Trigger 2. So both of these do have the same GPU though. So gaming should be about equal. Let's go into Slither. And you can see Slither is open first on the LG. And you could see play against uh, AI. So this is why I think people say a lot of the times that LG phones are underrated because they basically compete at the same level as the most popular, you know, Samsung Galaxy S9, iPhone 10, but they don't get as much sales. Let's go into Geekbench and you could see about the same on both devices. And let's go into Video Shop. And that one looked about the same as well. Let's go into CPU Z. And you could see that's the Galaxy S9. So basically equal performance here, a little bit of animation difference on the G7, giving it the edge in terms of just like milliseconds of a difference, not even that. It's just very, very slight. You would only see this in slow motion. So basically equal performance here on the single core or the single application opening. Let's go through some multitasking now. Okay guys, so we're gonna run through some multitasking. Let's begin with CPU Z. You could see about the same. Let's go into video shop. And that's about the same Geekbench. Again, very similar speed test. And let's go into Slither. And you could see very similar performance and Dead Trigger 2. Both holding everything so far, four gigs of RAM on each. And you could see pretty good there. And Amazon, about the same. Let's go into eBay. And it looks like the S9 had a little bit of a reload there. What about Prime Video? And yes, the G7 better there. Let's go into YouTube. And the G7 a little bit better there. WhatsApp. That's about the same. It looked like a reload on both. Snapchat reloads. So they're both choking up now, but the G7 did a little better. Twitter again to the G7. So the G7 looking pretty good. Instagram, you see a little bit of choppiness there. Play Store. And you see the S9 win on that one. Settings. Both reloaded, calculator, both reloaded that as well, and clock, and about the same. So basically similar performance again through multitasking. I think the G7 is doing a little bit better with its four gigs of RAM versus the S9's four gigs of RAM. Um, if you want the better performance, you definitely want to get the S9 Plus for the S9 series, but the S9 is still strong performance. It's just, I think the G7 was going for a little bit better optimization when it came to that multitasking from what I've seen. Okay, I quickly want to cover the cameras because the LG G7 has a slow shutter speed, and this is an area where the S9 is definitely quicker. So let's go ahead and go into the camera on both devices, three, two, one. And let me just go ahead and show you, let me put something in the frame here. How about this iPhone 10 right here? Let's go ahead and put this in the frame and you could just see the difference it's gonna take in shutter speed. So let me go ahead and just get an auto mode on both and go for the S9 first, three, two, one. You seen that now, three, two, one. So you see how slow that shutter speed was on the G7? One, two, three, and one, two, three. So it's just a little bit slower there for the shutter speed, but that's just a little thing I wanted to point out on the LG G7. That doesn't deter the camera quality at all. We can do a comparison on that, but I just wanted to tell you that the speed to get into the camera, focusing, stuff like that, is just faster on the Galaxy S9. Okay, so I compiled a 30 second video here to see which one can render better here on both. And let's hit next. And we're gonna go ahead and hit share. And we're gonna do it in the highest settings for both devices and hit to gallery. Three, two, one. See which one can compile this first. It's a pretty close race so far. Looks like the Samsung might be ahead. And that's the Galaxy S9 for the win. So the S9 might be the faster phone to render out your videos. Let's go ahead and run a Geekbench right now and I'll be back when the final scores are in for both gadgets. Okay, so we have our final scores and the LG G7 ThinQ with the win on both. So this is a win here for LG and Geekbench. So if you care about that, that's your winner. So we have arrived at the conclusion of this speed test. I think the LG G7 is a little bit of a faster phone than the Galaxy S9 
on you know certain applications but i think it's slow in certain ui elements so i think lg needs a few updates but then it will be a little bit quicker feeling than the samsung but the samsung has rock solid performance i just think touch with animations are slightly slower and uh, the geekbench is basically identical slightly better for the g7 so basically what you have here is equal performance phones but you're gonna have to decide on other areas like do you want the wide angle camera do you want the compact big screen lg g7 or you want the compact galaxy s9 with no notch on it there's other factors so if you want to see a should you buy galaxy s9 or g7 thin q video where we discuss which one to get and uh, all the factors around that comparison go ahead and drop that down below and if you found this one entertaining informing